Hey world, what's up? Uh, today on my YouTube channel, we're going to show you how to scrap out uh, like a wall or a window air conditioning unit for the copper brass, uh, for the copper and aluminum um, and scrap iron. And we're going to turn this into uh, probably about 20 bucks uh, with a few minutes of work. A um, couple of things you're going to need is um, you could probably get away with just like a screwdriver that that's also a uh, got a little nut driver on it because you're gonna have to take a lot of these little uh, fasteners out but uh, I'm gonna use a, a cordless with the little uh, get the autofocus going with a little uh, socket that fits on those little nuts so uh, for demonstration purposes this unit here we've had the gas removed with the proper equipment and uh, put an inert nitrogen mixture in there just for demonstration purposes, if you know what I mean. Um, so uh, we're going to start off, uh, and also I'm going to have like a cutter here and, um, and my cordless, and, and let's get to work on this thing. Uh, I want to show you what we're after here. Uh, number one is the copper, which you're going to find on the radiator ends on this thing, and also a lot of the piping inside. Uh, copper is graded a couple of different ways at the scrapyard. Something like this, a clean piece of pipe with no solder on it and no paint on it. This is what they call like number one copper and you're going to get the best price to this. Somewhere between three and four dollars a pound. Uh, uh, so this here is probably like a pound and a half. This is probably like four or five bucks this stupid piece of pipe. The next thing they call mixed brass, or like number two, which would be like, uh, like uh, let's see, something like this. is a piece of copper pipe, but it has paint on it. And it might have some solder on the ends or something like that. Um, so, it, <clears throat> and then there's stuff like mixed brass, which is like this old toilet ball cock, which is like a couple of different kinds of brass and copper together. Uh, so any of these, uh, any of this stuff uh, is, it's all very valuable, three to four dollars a pound. So uh, I basically just save it all, and uh, I'll do a little sorting to get out the the good number one stuff, and the rest I just keep in the bucket as number two. And then aluminum, like pie pans, uh, pieces of aluminum, uh, trim, hardware, plastics. Uh, <clears throat> a nice way to check for your valuable metals is you do the magnet test, like. Uh, Magnet is magnetic. This is iron. Uh, you're gonna get like nine cents a pound. The iron prices are down. It's not worth very much in scrap. Although it does have value, it's not worth much. Magnet test. The magnet's not sticking. It's aluminum. Uh, probably it could be stainless steel, but uh, I can tell by looking at the inside of the color that this is aluminum. Very valuable. Magnet test. Magnet test is good. And when you go to the scrapyard, the the guy at the scrapyard or the lady whatever at the scrapyard they're gonna have a magnet in their pocket and they're gonna check so uh, and stuff like this is a aluminum fitting but it has iron uh, screws in it so if you could take this out it, it just increases it to a better grade so instead of like what they would call mixed aluminum because it had these in it by taking these out I now got like a number one aluminum I'm gonna get a better price even stuff like this I throw in the mixed aluminum bucket, a little light, light bulb base. It all adds up. And then of course there's like, this is all copper wire with insulation on it. Although I personally don't strip the insulation off. They got a machine at the scrapyard, they feed this stuff through and you do get a price on this. I think it's like 15, 20 cents a pound. Um, nothing compared to if it was stripped, like I said, you're gonna get three bucks a pound for copper. Like let's say this copper wire here is already stripped, three bucks a pound. This stuff you might get 20, 30 cents a pound, but it's still worth to save all your old wires. Fill this bucket up packed with wire. It's probably worth like 40, 50 bucks. At this stage when we got a lot of the bigger pieces off and we're going to be going inside this unit and digging wires out and cutting copper pipe and stuff, I'm going to recommend some kind of hand protection, some gloves or something to keep you from getting cuts and scrapes. Let's get back to taking this guy apart.
Now some guys will sit there and they'll knock these out with a with a a pin and a hammer and stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna do that though. Uh, eh, it might not be worth the effort. And did I tell you this thing is called an angle die grinder? It's probably one of the most fucking dangerous tools that I work with on a fucking day to day basis. Um, it'll take your fingers off in like a half a second, four or five of them, three and a half, something like that. It'll take your hand off at the wrist. Uh, if you're stupid enough to work with uh, to work with power tools and let your hair grow long, it'll scalp you in a split second and make the Cherokees envious. Oh, did I mention that the disc uh, could shatter if you're not uh, using a good disc and it'll send a piece right through your eyeball, safety glasses or not? This is not the kind of tool you want to get someone for their birthday or Christmas. Because God forbid they get hurt with this thing, it's going to be a serious injury and you're going to feel like shit. So let them buy this fucker on their own. But it does cut through steel and metal and cement and all kinds of shit. Cuts through it like butter. So, uh, oh, did I mention this stuff gets really fucking hot and if I didn't have gloves, I'd have burns right now. From the friction and the disc. So be careful. Well, this is a pile of those little pieces from the winding, and I'm just going to run my magnet through the pile to grab any iron screws that might have slipped in there, just because I don't want to upset the guy at the uh, scrap metal place too much anyway with contaminated uh, copper. All right, what do we got there? We got a couple of screws and stuff we picked up. All right, good deal. Okie dokie. All right, YouTube, so what did we accomplish? Let's see what we accomplished. Now, a couple of points I'd like to make. Without the added production time of making this video, this is about a half an hour's work, take this air conditioner apart, maybe 25 minutes. With the video making it, I spent about an hour here, right up to this time into the garage. I'll probably spend another half an hour editing and uh, and the video's done. But anyway, so, so let's say 25 minutes time dismantle this air conditioner what did i end up with i ended up with probably about five pounds of uh, number one copper i ended up with two radiator cores of probably uh oh maybe 10 bucks there let's say 15 bucks there uh a pile of plastic and styrofoam is worth nothing some wire with insulation on it's probably worth a buck there uh maybe uh 20 pounds of uh, what they call light iron, which I could probably get about $2 for that. So uh, maybe 25 bucks is better than throwing it out. 
So uh, I hope I helped you out. I hope I gave you some ideas. Um, besides the economic value to me of gaining 25 bucks for something that would have got thrown out. And by the way, it wasn't my air conditioner. I got central in the house. Um, besides that, it's also the, the environmental value of getting these materials back into the manufacturing chain rather than having to mine them because aluminum and copper are both mined out of the earth uh, besides the environmental damage there's a huge amount of power that's needed uh, electricity oil coal whatever um, so is, there's a value in that and there's an economic value to me and uh, also this stuff doesn't end up in the landfill so it's like times you know x times uh, whatever uh, in in uh, benefits to mankind in recycling materials so uh oh i also ended up with a small circuit board uh, over there where it controls the on off and the cool work um, which has like some gold in the in the connectors very uh, mi minute amount but um circuit boards are also recyclable and they do give you money for those because it contains gold and silver and other valuable metals so uh that's it for this video thanks for watching I'm going to post uh, in the comments below the actual value uh, from this air conditioner. I'm going to ask the guy at the scrapyard because I'm going to load this up with all my other scrap metal. So I won't be able to exactly break it down. But I'm going to ask the guy at the scrap metal yard the next time I go uh, to estimate the value of scrapping out this air conditioner. And I'll post it in the comments below. But I'm saying like 25 bucks. Peace out.